everybody welcome back to the she shed today's tutorial is going to be on a mosaic crochet cowl so you can see in the photo that we've got a blue with the gray color in the pattern today we're going to do it the opposite way around so what is the wool that we're using well the gray color is they're both the same brand uh, so XL superwash yarn it is a 50 gram ball of wool you will use uh, just over two for the with the gray and the blue it will be about a ball it is 104 meters and it is a hundred percent wool made in Turkey and it says use a four millimeter uh, needle I will use a five millimeter hook so we have got, I don't think they've got a name of the yarn. No, they just do colour. So, oh yeah, silver. Whoa, that's a first. <laughs> okay, so that one's silver and then the blue. And the blue is ant blue. Nice. Okay, so the hook we will be using is a 5mm hook. The pattern we are going to be using is this mosaic crochet pattern but we are not going to be using the entire pattern. For this mosaic crochet pattern you will notice if you look at the cowl in the photo we are doing the pattern from the bottom to the corresponding top up to here. For the purpose of this video, this crocheting tutorial, I'm not going to do the complete pattern and I'm actually going to start from here and work up to the corresponding up here. Uh, this will hopefully make it a lot less boring and uh, easier to follow. So you can follow it along with this pattern here that I'm going to do today from here to here and it will make a much slimmer cowl and will only be 21 rows. However, you are more than welcome to go from the bottom here and work your way to the top, which will be along here, which would end up being 63 rows. And yeah, I will leave that up to you, but for us, Today we are only going to be doing the 21 rows from this point here to this point here. This pattern I got from Yarn Inspirations. It's only part of our overall huge um, blanket that they do. And all I wanted was a section of it uh, to make for this uh, cowl. So um, because I'm only wanting I do want it to repeat and you can see the repeat is in the red here and it only goes from this section to this section then this section to this section so I don't want this and I don't want this now you can leave it there if you like if you find that easy to work sometimes I find that a bit misleading um, so it's up to you how you would like to do that. I actually scrub it out. What I also scrub out are the rows that I'm not going to be using down the bottom here. So I only want, I don't want this row. I want this row down. And I want to match it up the top here. So from this row... So I don't want that row up, don't want any of that. So all I'm working on is this little pattern in here. So how I do this is to make sure I get the right colour going with the right colour on the pattern, I write down the bottom. So I've written grey equals the white and the blue is going to equal the black. And also another way of looking at it. what I do is I actually renumber so I go down the side and I go one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen 
19, 20, and there should be 21 rows. Okay, and you can do it on the other side if you like as well. And what I now know is that my white row, which is what we're starting off with, is the white row, is going to be odds. So I can say all my greys are on the odd rows, and therefore all my blues need to be on the even rows. So that's how I set up my pattern before I start actually um, doing the pattern itself. So I set it up beforehand, so I've got in my mind's eye that my greys are now going to be my white on the pattern, and my blues are going to be the black on the pattern. So every time they come up, I know which colour I'm on. We will get into the pattern itself closer to when we're actually starting it. So this pattern is a multiple of 22. So whatever size you want to make your cowl, you have to make it a multiple of 22 to make the pattern work. So the pattern matches up. So as you can see, they've got it split in relatively in the middle and then they start it again at the side. You want to make sure that your sides match up. You want to make the pattern continuous. So it is 22 stitches in the pattern. Therefore, we need to make sure our cowl is 22 stitches a multiple of. And for my cowl, I'm going to do 88 stitches. So if you are following along with me, let's get started on our grey. And uh, we are going to do 88 stitches in our chain. Okay, once you have your 88 stitches, just check that yes, it does go around your neck quite comfortably. If you are finding it too tight, do another 22 stitches. If it's too loose and you can do less 22 stitches, do so. But remember, it has to be a multiple of 22. Uh, 88 works really comfortably um, around my neck. Um, so hence why I've gone for 88 stitches. All right, so chain one, and we are going to be turning the work over and working into the back of the stitch. So miss your chain one here, and this is a half double crochet round. So yarn over the hook, and yarn into the back loop of the stitch. So the front is the V, the back is that loop that's sticking out there. So stick your hook in the back of that loop, pull your yarn through, yarn over, pull through the three on your hook. Yarn over into the back of that loop. And then keep doing your half double crochets in every single stitch. And I will finish this off camera and meet you back at the end of this row. When you have finished that row, it is time to now join our chain together, our piece of work together to make the cowl. So make sure you've got it flattened out, bring it together. Make sure that your tail is down the end. And go into that first stitch there and slip stitch through to join. Okay, now at this point, do make sure that you have 88 stitches. Remember, the pattern is not going to work unless you have a multiple of 22. So, yep, I just checked and I have 88 stitches. So, now we need the next color. Uh, join your next color on. Bring it through. And pull the opposite color really tight. You've got your blue or whatever color you're using for the, this pattern. Then chain one. And then for every stitch, we're working in the back of the stitch for this row. So you see there's the V of the stitch. And the back of the stitch is this one here. So we're going to be working in the back of the stitch. And this is now only single crochet in the back of the stitch. So you put your hook in, grab the yarn, bring it, grab the yarn and bring it through, grab the yarn through the two on the hook. So for this row, all we're doing is a single crochet in the back 
of every stitch. Okay, so I will meet you back here at the end of this round. At the end of the round, before you close this round off, just once again triple check that you have 88 stitches or your multiple 22. Then when you are 100% sure you are right, then you slip stitch into the first stitch. And then we are going to change colour and this is when the pattern really starts to happen. Now the first two rows were foundation rows just to get us going so we can able to achieve the pattern. Without those rows you can't do any of the pattern. So bring your yarn through, pull your other opposite yarn tight and chain one. So I'm on the grey now. So we're just about to start the pattern. So we're really going to get into the pattern now. Now believe it or not, we've already done the first two rows. We've done row one and we've done row two. We had to do those two rows the way that we've done them to have foundation, to be able to do the next row. So we've done one and we've done two and we're now going on to three. So when you go along three, it is my gray or the white row so as you can see I'm starting off with the white because it is an odd my first stitch is actually going to be a drop down double crochet that's this line here so wherever you see a long line so all these long lines even these here we'll get to those are drop down double crochets okay when you don't see that so like here 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 here, here, they're single crochets. Even though, for example, when we come along here, we've got a drop down, single, single, that is a single. Even though it's in a black, we are still working in the white. So, even though that's my grey colour, and that says to me that's a blue, ignore it because that only comes across when you're on evens. Because I'm in odds, I am doing only grey. So when you see the opposite colour, it's a single of the colour you're working on. So well, how I read this is this is a drop down double crochet, single crochet, single crochet, single crochet, drop down double. Single, 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 drop down. 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 Single and then a drop down. So, as you can see, the pattern, um, you need to read it, it's not always going to repeat exactly the same. And also be aware that you need to make it match up so it looks like this bit here. So often what I do, if I get myself lost, I ignore what's going on over here and I read this middle one here because I know this one is complete and it's really easy to follow this. So I'm going to start this pattern and what we do is a single drop down double crochet then a single crochet, single crochet, single crochet all on the back of the stitch. Then a, and then a drop down double crochet, single crochet in the back of the stitch, single crochet in the back of the stitch, single crochet, so on and so forth. So let's get this pattern started. So I'm on my grey, let's get the grey. And it says here that the first stitch is going to be a drop down double crochet. So drop down double crochet, yarn over and you'll see that there is a loop underneath. So put your hook up through the loop, grab a yarn, pull it through, grab a yarn, pull the first through the first two on your hook, grab a yarn, pull it through the next two on your hook. Then it says, so we've done that one, then it's one, two, three single crochets in the back of the hook, sorry, the back of the loop. So we go one, two, three. And then the next one was a drop down double. So. 
and then the next three were a single crochet in the back of the hook back of the loop sorry and then it was a drop down double so I've done that one one two three that one one two three that one then another three and another drop down and then I believe it was one two three drop down one two three drop down one two three drop down And then one, two, three, drop down, there we go, so that should have been one, two, three, four, five, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, yep. So this one is one and then a drop down. So one single crochet and then a drop down. So we're going to go one and then a drop down double. And then if I remember rightly it should be four. So see how it drops off the page there? So I know this picks up. This will B. Uh, so I want to find this pattern again which will end up there so I know that it is one two three four five so it should be every five groups you're doing one two three drop down one two three four five and then you do a drop down and a single and then a drop down then one two three four five then a drop down single and drop down so I hope that makes sense so what I do is I break the pattern up into smaller patterns on the row so we're doing five groups one two three four five and then we do a drop down a single and a drop down so I hope that makes sense and I work my way I find the little pattern and then I do that as I go around saving me having to look at the pattern every single time I turn around because trust me that would get a little bit laborious so I try and break it up into smaller patterns on the row and then work my way along the row in that way so I've just done one, two, so three singles and a drop down. Let's do another three, two, three, and a drop down. How many have I got there? One, two, three, four. Four and a drop down. Let's see, that should be five now. One, two. Whoops. Got to check yourself. Yeah, one, two, three. Nearly went, went skew if. So I always eyeball it to make sure. So that's one, two, three, four, five. 
and so now I'm ready to do this bit here but just eyeball it make sure you've got one two three 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 single one two three 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 and I'm just about to do the single so you want to make sure that as you're going around that your pattern is even your pattern is correct just eyeball it, and trust me the more you do this the more you can just go yep it's the first couple of rows just to get it started which um, are the trickiest okay so that's the second lot done so one two three four five there we go okay I'm going to leave you to do the next two sets now you should be um, finishing so as you were following the line pattern one two three four five drop down and then you should have a single crochet and then it will match up to the pattern there and then you slip stitching in the top of the first stitch to finish your round and there we go your first round is finished all right so drop your gray bring through your blue So pull your blue through, tighten off your grey, chain one in your blue, and now we're going to start the blue. So the blue is on the black here. So when I read this, so we've done row three, I'm up to row four. So we're going single, 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 drop down, single, 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 drop down single 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 drop down so you can see the pattern here is going one two three and then a drop down one two three and then a drop down and then a five one two three four five and then a drop down okay so let's do this first let's do the three singles and to make sure that you're in the right spot see how the stitch before was on a half double crochet sorry a a drop down double crochet so we need to start in the back of that stitch of that drop down double crochet as a single so that was one two three and then a drop down and then it was one two three and then a drop down Now how many of those did we have to do? One, two, three, one, two, and now we've got to go one, two, three, four, five singles before we do our drop down. So one, two, three, four, five, and then we do our drop down. Okay, and then the next one says one, two, three, drop down, 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 and then five and drop down. So how many is that? That is one, two, three, four before we do our five. So one, two, three. and then we do a drop down and then one two three and then our drop down one two three drop down and this should be the fourth one. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, yep. One, two, three, yep, this is our fourth one. One, two, two, three, drop down. 
and then this should be five. One, two, three, four, five singles, and a drop down. So the pattern for this row now will be four groups of three, one, two, three, four, and then a fiver. And then four groups of three and then a fiver. So I hope that makes sense. I'm gonna leave you to finish this row and I'll meet you back at the end of this round. At the end of this round, we are going to be finishing with a drop down double. So, and we go, drop down double, and then you are going to be uh, slip stitching in the top of the first stitch. Okay, so that's the fourth row completed. So the fifth row, swap over from your blue to your grey, pull your grey through, pull the blue tight, slip stitch, so chain one. Okay, so row five is saying it is a single, single and then a drop down. So. Now we know that that is where the first stitch should go. Single, single, and then it said a drop down. Okay, so we're single, single, drop down, single, 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 drop down, single, single, single drop down single 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 drop down single 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 drop down and then one two three four five so this one looks like it's one two three four and then you do your five okay so it's pretty much repeating what we did before so in the last row one two start again One, two, three, drop down, and then one, two, three, drop down, one, two, Three, drop down, one, two, three, drop down, and are we up to our five? So let's see, we've done one, two, three, is that right so there's my fifth row one two three four so now I have to do one two three four five so one two three four yep so here's my five one two three, four, five, and then it should be another four of the three as one. Two, Four. 
and then double check one two three four and then five one two three four five and a drop down okay so I'm going to leave you to finish off this round should hopefully look a bit like that and I'll see you back at the end of this round at the end of this row your last three stitches should be single crochet in the back of the stitch and that should marry up with the start of your row which were the first two which makes your five in that little section there okay so once you've done that slip stitch into the first stitch of the row and then we're swapping over to our blue slip your blue through tighten off your grey chain one and is now row six so when we're looking at row six here so our blue is one then drop down then one two three drop down one two three drop down then one then drop down okay so let's start this off by doing chain uh, slips sorry a um, single crochet and then a drop down so like I always like to do just making sure I'm going above the previous drop down so I've got it in the right spot so there's my there's my drop down so there's my single crochet going in there and then I had to do a drop down then it said one two three drop down Two, three drop down which was just done and then one two three drop down one drop down so we're doing one two three drop down and then one and then a drop down So let's just double check so my drop down here is here and then I had one there one there yep yeah, so I'm on so then the next one is one two three drop down one two three drop down one two three drop down one two three drop so how many have I got there I've got um, so I'm up to this one so I've got one two three four and then the fifth one does that single okay so let's do five groups of three there's one Four, 
five and then this one should be one single and then a drop down okay so let's just check there's that one and then there was one two three four five one two three four five there we go so to continue with this bit do your five threes and then your single if that makes sense to you hopefully it does <laughs> otherwise follow the pattern and i'm going to meet you back at the end of this round okay at the end of this round you should have two single crochets in the back of the stitch left and then join up on the round drop the blue bring through the grey tighten up the blue slip do a chain on the grey and then we're up to row seven okay for row seven we're here now so we've got a drop down double crochet single 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 drop down 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 drop down drop down okay so let's start off with the drop down so there's our drop down double crochet and then it was a single one two three and then a drop down then so we had one two three drop down one two three drop down and then so we're there there so one two three drop down and then one two three drop down so one two three drop down should be another drop down now you can start looking at the pattern now and you can see that this pattern here is corresponding to this pattern here and I know by looking at this that I need to work up to getting one two three drop downs in here so when it starts getting a bit like blurry and you're getting yourself lost have a look at the pattern that you're working on corresponding to the pattern that's on your chart so as I go down it's one two three four and then on my fifth one I'm doing the three so I've got one one two three four and on my fifth one so I've got to do a drop down here and then one two two three now I've got three drop downs here so one two three okay so as you can see between these three big drop downs you've got here so three in a row you will have 
So there's three drops. One, two, three, four. So you've got to go one, two, three, four lots drop downs because before you get to those ones there. So let's do that next. And now it's just you get to this stage now where you can get a gist of the pattern and you don't really need to refer to it again because you're looking at the pattern on your uh, work as well and you can just double check that they're lining up together so I'm just doing my three sing singles and then my double drop down double and then my three singles and I know I'm doing this until I get to that gap where I'm going to do my three yes my yarn is annoying me <laughs> As I was saying, uh, so I, I know I'm going to work my three singles and then my drop down and I keep doing that until I get to that spot that I know that I'm going to be putting my three drop down doubles. And they're just coming up. And let's double check I've got it in the right spot yep look at the pattern you can see that there's my drop downs three there and you can see my patterns working and now I'm up to it here so let's put the three drop downs in there you finish doing this round and I'll see you at the end of the round and on that row your last two stitches should be drop down double crochets and then join slip stitch to the top of the first stitch of the row swap over bring your blue through Tighten off with your grey, chain one, and we are ready for the next row. So I've done seven, and eight is, because this is a blue row, that means all only black we need to worry about. So anywhere where we've got white, that is a single, single, single black. Drop down, double crochet single 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 drop down single drop down drop down drop down okay so let's go to that one two three and then a drop down one two three and then a drop down single drop down alrighty so get myself untangled and then single in the top of that previous drop down So it was three singles and then a drop down, then three singles, and then a drop down, and then so there we went the three singles drop down three singles drop down so we're doing a single and then three drop downs single and then three drop downs now you can see this is the first time we've come across doing a drop down on top of a drop down and you're going to see this now for the next several rows here we're doing drop downs on top of drop downs So three drop downs, one, two, three. And then it was a single, then a drop down, single, 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 drop down, single, 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 single,
single and a drop down and then three singles and a drop down and then uh, we have so we're here and we have one two three four five six seven seven singles one two three four Six, six, seven, and then a drop down. Then it should be three singles and a drop down. One, two, three, and a drop down. Then one single and three drop downs. One, two, three. I'll leave you to finish that um, round and I'll meet you back at the end. Okay, so the last four stitches should be a single crochet in the back of the stitch. Two, three, four, and there we go, single crochet in the back of the stitch. Drop that blue, bring up the grey, pull your grey through, pull the blue tight, and then chain one. Okay, so we have now finished uh, row 8 and we're on row 9. Okay, so the next three stitches are drop down doubles. So, 1, 2, Three. This is where the pattern I find gets really, really easy because you're now just following straight over the full. So we've got three, so we've got a single on the blue there on your drop down, and then the next ones are going to be all drop downs. One, two, three. And then you've got a single on the drop down, and then the next one's going to be a drop down, and then the single on the previous drop downs on the blue, and then you're going to do a drop down on the grey, and then it's a single on the blue, and then the drop down on the greys. So you can see how it's getting, I don't even have to look at the pattern now, it's it's um, really easy when you come to this part and then single on the blue and then you're doing seven drop downs one two three Four, five, six, seven, and then a single on the blue. And there you can see the pattern coming out. I think you've got the gist of this now, so I'm going to leave you to finish up to row 21 and then I'll come back and uh, show you how we finish off. 
So have fun, I'll work the rest off camera and I'll see you back here when you're up to row 21. And here we are with the finished cowl. So the last row of your pattern would have been this row just here. And then that would be, you would finish on a grey row, which is this grey row here. And to match the top with the bottom, I did one row of uh, single crochet around. Then you need to just sew in your ends and there is your finished cowl. So as I mentioned before, this is a short cowl, only doing a small portion of the uh, pattern. And the one that is photoed at the beginning is the larger portion of the pattern. So you can make this cowl as big as you like, or you can even change it up and do the pattern just the middle bit there. And this is what I like about this, is that uh, you can change the pattern to do it the way that you like. Okay, everybody, well, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for following along. If you do make this cowl and you have any photos, would love to see your photos. So please, you know, drop me a line, Messenger, Instagram, uh, love to see them. Otherwise, everybody, thank you very much for following. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I'll see you again next time at the She Shed. Bye, everyone. Thank you.